all right back again what's up guys my name is ronald and this is my channel and yeah let's discuss what this video is about which is i quit i quit my job so i'm going to discuss why i would quit my job or why i quit my job in the past and so on like that just in case you know not to hurt any feelings but i don't really care but at the same time you know i wanted to you know pinpoint why i quit my job in the past and you know currently and whatever so let's start with you know the number one reason why people quit their jobs and number one reason why is because of money you guys did a poll a couple of months back and that was like the number one reason why you guys will quit your jobs i feel that i feel that sentiment all the time and that's one of the reasons why i left my previous jobs and i just want to point out that yeah that is really important you should be like looking into the market and you should be seeing what you can get for your current role or even going to another role that you can get paid more. And I think that's really important if, you know, check the market like every, you know, six to 12 months. I think um, you should check the market at least a year and see what you can currently get for because essentially during that time, you know, market rates change. And I think that's really important to stay on top of inflation and top of all these other things and what your monetary goals or financial goals are. Yeah, that's really important to me. And I'm currently like in a state of hyper investing. So yeah, like I'm trying to deploy all this money as much as possible whenever I can. I'm also trying to save as much as I can so I can have cash reserves and capital to deploy to these things. And mostly I'm just trying to expand my real estate investment portfolio. I only got one house now. I want 10 houses in the next 10 years. Like 10, 10 doors is what I'm aiming for. Even a multiplex, that'd be awesome. But that's one of the reasons why I left so I can invest more. Yeah, that's the reasons why I left a lot of my jobs so i can invest more yeah let's move on to the next uh topic title so title is one of the most important parts why i left previous jobs i remember what this one job it was like pretty open on what role i was i was a very generalist type of software engineer so i did everything from security did everything from automation qa engineer i did a lot of things from infrastructure back end and even front end stuff the worst part of my career was doing front end stuff it was at one job i was doing this and yeah it was like i was doing all of that and i just you know just remembered that i didn't really like doing that so i was like yo i found something i wanted to do which was salesforce and i moved on to that and i just like kept sticking to that and even now like with salesforce i do some front end stuff but a lot of it is like configure of work and if i do some custom stuff then it's pretty easy because i don't know all that front end stuff that i did in the previous engineering roles that I did it was pretty easy luckily I don't have to do none of the CS stuff that I have to do and I just get a front-end engineer to do all that awesome stuff for me so that's awesome yeah title is very important and you know as you progress in each role that you move on to you should be trying to go into higher roles and challenging roles I feel like each role that I went to over my career in the last four years I was moving and progressing in the roles in higher and higher roles so I can challenge myself, put myself in situations where I'm growing and seeking more challenges and figuring out how to solve those problems. So like if I'm not a great communicator, then I'm going to figure out how I can be a better communicator in this role. Hi, tell me how I can communicate better so we can get this assignment done. And that's one of the things that I'm very straightforward. So how can I continue to improve and continue to get feedback? Yeah, that's um, really important for each role I go into is like, yo, I just need to know what is success in this role? I w I'm going to achieve that success as much as possible and hit those points. And yeah, I'm going up to the next level where I'll be more of a lead and then there will be, you know, a director and so on. Like I'm, I'm going for those roles as I'm progressing through my career. And the title is very important. So knowing specifically what your title is in each role in each job company is very important and you fit in that title in that role every single time. You're not going outside of that role, you're not going underneath, you're like you hitting that title and you focusing on that. Because the focus part is the most important part of every single job. If you know your role, you know your functionality, you know exactly what is success for your role, 
you're going to achieve that success. The title is very important to me as I'm going to the next row and continue to work towards that. All right. So the next thing I want to go into is acknowledgement. I feel like some companies did really well that I work with. <laughs> I feel like I almost didn't leave some companies and other companies. I was like, wow. You guys wait until I'm about to leave that. Uh, be appreciative. So, yeah, I kind of want to like talk about that. So, acknowledgement, you know, you're creating a lot of impact, you're creating a lot of value to this company. And, yeah, if you don't get any incentive of what work you're doing, then it's like, why are you working so hard to do these awesome things that you feel like you're getting value, but no one's doing the appreciation for it? And like I said previously, there was one company I was like, I almost didn't leave that company because they were doing such a great job. Multiple bonuses a year, putting me in awesome projects and stuff and giving me a lot of appreciation and all these different perks because of the awesome work I was doing. But it was just like, it wasn't gonna fight the investment need that I was talking about earlier. And even though it was nice bonuses, like there, it was a lot of bonuses, I think I still wasn't gonna progress that I wanted to progress in as my career and I want in the focus I needed. And it's all going towards that title piece. I let them know, I let them know that it's very important to me that title is like of my role and I know exactly what it means to be successful in that role. But the acknowledgement piece, right? And in some companies, like I did a lot of work for a whole year and like amazing work. People, the customers and stuff were giving appreciation, but people are higher up. It's like, all right, let's go to the next thing, go to the next thing. And then it was really much, not, not much appreciation. It wasn't until like my final review, they said, hey, we're doing a great job. But they only gave me a small pay bump raise. I was like, uh, I got an offer. And I left. I was like, that's pretty much it. They appreciated it after the fact that I was about to leave, but then it's like, I already left. So, you know, you know, appreciation is very important from an employee standpoint. And I think, you know, employers should try to do that at a much higher level, management level, director level, and give more incentives for for people who are doing great work. So that's that. And the last one I wanted to bring into is growth. So sometimes you feel like um, you're stagnant in your knowledge and your skills. You might be doing something completely repetitive and it might be, you know, completely fine. You might find new ways of how to improve a certain process that you've been doing repetitive to the point where you got so efficient and you know this thing in the back of your head. But sometimes you have to move to something else and tackle more challenges and more problems so that you can so you can continue to grow. And yeah, growth is definitely number one of the reasons why I left some companies so I can grow in a certain skill set and also tackle new challenges as well. Because I feel like sometimes I wasn't learning in the space that I needed to learn properly in order to implement properly. So they didn't really focus on the needs of like educating and learning in the space and getting educated. But they wanted me to, you know, continue to build something that might not be up to par or what it needs to be based off my skill level and knowledge of that platform. So one of the things I thought was really important was to continue to learn as a as engineer in the space that I'm working in. So Salesforce and stuff. So I talked about this, like why well, I got Salesforce certifications and it's mainly to be a specialist in the area I'm in. So being an expert of what it means to understand these tools and the fundamental understandings of the platform and the best practices. I'm a avid learner in the area that I'm learning in. And I think it's really important to continue to learn so that you can, you know, be as effective solutioner and implementer that you're working in. Knowing the limitation of your platform is very important. So you don't work in the areas that continue to know, you know, is limitations. You can know the limitations and do the workarounds that you need to do with them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But, you know, I quit my job and I'm probably going to be starting something pretty soon. Still haven't figured it out. I'll let you guys know how I'm going to announce that. Pretty soon I'm going to be working on another job, but I'm leaving this job. And hopefully I can, you know, do something, you know, phenomenal and get into the title and the stuff that I want to get into in my next role. So until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.